how to draw a dotted line around the chart in React Chart.js. So to draw a dashed line around the chart, first of all, what we need to do is we need to create a plugin because this is really a custom creation. So we're going to say a plugin equals, and then here we put an array because we could have more than one plugin, of course. And we can say here, let's say here, uh, dashed borders. I'm going to grab this. And once we have this, we're going to say a constant dash borders equals, and then we're going to give it an ID of dash borders. And then what we want to do here is we want to say, when would we like to draw this? We want to draw this basically behind these lines here. So if it will be dashed around it, we can do here before the data sets has been drawn. That's when we draw our item. And then here we have the chart, the arcs and the plugin options. Once we did this, we're going to create a constant here with an object destructuring. So we're going to say equals chart. And I have a video about that. So if you don't know, please watch my video for about that one. So it's a CTX and you probably can use the chart area. And the chart area, we will get the top, the bottom, left, right. I'm not sure if we need the width and height, but I'll just put it in there just in case. We can always remove them. So once we did this, we're going to say here ctx.save to save the default settings. And then we're going to say here, we're going to draw a line and the line will start at this very point going to the right side, going down then going to the left and back here up. So to do this, we're going to say here cts.begin path to indicate that the line we're going to draw is independent of anything else. Then what we want to do here is we're going to say here the color. So we say ctx.stroke style for the color. And this color will be a gray in British with an A for alpha. Next, we want to say here the thickness of the line. So we're going to say a ctx.line width. And we can make this one pixels for now. That's more than enough. And then finally, what we want to do is we want to start the position. So our starting position will be on this very left corner here. To do this, we're going to say a ctx dot move to, and this move to is basically the starting position. Here we need an x coordinate and a y coordinate. Because of the chart area, it will give us the exact x and y coordinates of the positions we have. And this line here is basically the left line. This here is the top, and that is the right, and down here is the bottom. Basically, everything within these four lines is the chart area where we draw the chart. This is not the canvas. Very important to understand it. That's the difference. Because the canvas is, of course, the entire uh, object or uh, element. But this here is just within an element, the specific coordinates. So what we're going to do here, we want to start at the left side. Luckily, we have the left corner because of this chart area object destructuring. Then what we want to do here is start at the top. By doing so, we can say, you know, a ctx dot line two. And then here, we're going to draw the first line from here to there. So that will be very straightforward, right side, and then top still. So once we did this, what I want to do is I want to draw it. So I'm going to say ctx.stroke to draw this line. So that's what we're doing. If I save this now, refresh, as you can see here, we have now this nice dark gray line here. So the next thing what I want to do is I want to say ctx.line2 for the next coordinate, which would be to the we're on the right side, but going down to the bottom. So we're going to do this, save. And there we are. All right. And as you can see here, you might say, well, it doesn't look like it's really uh, drawing. Well, it is. But basically, it just slices it off slightly. Probably 0.5% is the thickness of the line here. Because it just ends exactly on that point. Anyway, doesn't matter. So just leave it as it is. Then what we want to do here is ctx dot another line two, but this line two in this case will be, um, we're going to the left side and then top, or oh, sorry, not top. If we do that, we'll get a diagonal line. So it should be bottom. If I save this, then we get the line going down here. And then what we want to do is we want to close the line going up here. So if you might say, all right, we just need to copy this and put in here top again, that is not the answer. The answer is we need to close the line so we will understand that this line is truly a joint line. That's like an element or a shape. So what I'm going to do here, ctx.path, um, uh, sorry, that is close path 
like that. Save that. Refresh and then automatically it will recognize the next point and it will close it nicely. And that's it. So now we have this. What we want to do next is give it a dotted line. So I'm going to say a ctx dot set line dash. And this here allows us to give a dotted line where we have the six, the two values. The first one would be how many solid pixels and then after that how many pixels in white space. So I say six pixels solid and after that six pixels white space. Semicolon here, save, refresh, and there we are. So the final thing what we want to do, because sometimes this will, these dotted lines will bleed over to any other elements of our chart. So I want to avoid that. To avoid this, I have to copy this element, put it in here. And then I'm going to remove these values here. By this, we reset it automatically. And then it will not bleed over to any other line or element that we have. Save that. And there we are. 